Tell me some of the acts that you signed early on um, at, over at Atlantic. Okay. Uh, when I got there, we signed MC Light, we signed Audio 2, we signed, we signed uh, the DOC, we signed Yo-Yo, we signed Michelle Lay, we signed Das Effects, we signed, we, we signed uh, Original Flavor, um, we signed a lot. Uh, speaking of original flavor, right? Uh, you, they had a song mm-hmm. uh, that had Jay Z on it, right? <laughs> and uh, what was the song called again? Can I get open? Yes, can I get open? Right. Which was Jay Z's debut or on a track? No, no, it wasn't. No. What was Jay Z's? Jay Z was on Jazz O's first records, on the Originators, okay, um, and a couple of other songs, Hawaiian Sophie, and then he was on Kane's. Um, What's the name of the song? Uh, I can't remember the song he was on with Kane, but uh, he said one of the wildest rhymes on that shit. Like, it was Kane, it was Old Dirty Bastard, it was Little Shaheem, it was Big Daddy Shane, it was Jazzo, it was Sauce Money, and his rhyme was like super stupid. Tell me the uh, the first time um, meeting Jay. Um, first time I met him was at Fresh Gordon's house. It was super short. And I didn't get to hear him rap, but I just met him, and then I had to leave. And then the next time I was at Fresh Gordon's house, the song that he was working on with Jazz, I heard it, and I was like, "Yo, who the who the fuck is this?" And and uh, he told me it was his boy Jay, and he took me to the projects, and I met him. Uh, and what was that? What was that like being in there uh, to meet him for the first time? Um, well, not for the first time, but I mean, it, it was it was cool. It's just that I wanted to actually hear him rap. Because if you knew anything about rap in Brooklyn, like Jazz O was like untouchable. And for anybody to be able to stand next to him and rap, it's kind of crazy. So I wanted to know who this guy was, like for real. So I went, I met him, he rapped, he was crazy. And I just was like, this is, this is amazing. And this is like, he might have been 16 or 17. Uh, did it scream um, star quality? Yeah, he was a star on site. Because uh, what qualifies a, a, a star or that it factor on site for you? Um, you can carry what you say. Mm-hmm. And he could carry everything he said. And for me, being a star has something else to it. Like, I, I don't know about like what most people see, but like when I hear the artists do what they're doing, I want to be able to believe them. If I believe them, their career is going to last to me. Like, so if I would have heard Jeezy, the first time I would have heard Jeezy, if I'd have heard Jeezy, I'd have felt like I believed him and I'd have been like, yeah, he's a star. Mm -hmm. There's no way that if I heard that guy that he would be retired right now Mm -hmm. because he's, he's too believable. You know what I'm saying? He's believable. Like we know some artists that talk about things that they just don't do or they haven't done but they say it so well that you believe them. That thing is what makes you some other shit. Wow. Uh, how did it come to be that you also knew Dame? Yeah. You were you're like the glue. You, you're the, you, were, you, were, you were the Shep Gordon. Do you know who Shep Gordon is? Yeah. You are the Shep Gordon of hip hop. I don't know. I, 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 uh, in the sense that Shep is just a person right. who just brings love, but also can bring people together. Right. That's and, and, what I more do. I'm, and that's I'm a talent. Connect. I'm more connect. That's an extreme talent yeah. within itself. There are some people who solely do right. the connecting role. Yeah, but um, in that role, you have to accept that you're probably not going to get famous for it. And that, that has to be cool. Like, to me, I'm comfortable with that. I don't care to be lauded as the guy who put these guys together i care about that when i do put them together something great happens if something great happens i'm good and something did great (laughs) something great happens yeah something great happened yeah (laughs) yeah because uh how did you meet dame um he he had original flavor the group original flavor was his group got it so okay he was sitting in the lobby or in the the waiting area at Atlantic Records, and he was waiting for his meeting with an A and R at Atlantic. And when I walked out, he was there. I was like, "Who y'all waiting for?" And they were like, uh, "Such and such." And I was just like, 
yeah. And I was like, come on, I'll, I'll meet with y'all. Because he's like, we got this artist. It was him and his cousin, Darian. And they were Dash Entertainment. And I sat down and I listened. And I was like, oh, I like these kids. And I did. It was Original Flavor and a group called The Future Sound. And Original Flavor, one of the guys in Original Flavor, I could automatically um, tell who he was. I was like, is that Ski? And he was like, yeah, Will Ski. I was like, yeah, that's Will Ski from... Um, from the Busy Boys out of North Carolina. He was like, you know him? I was like, yeah, he's my boy. I met him in the 80s and was like, if you ever come to New York, I'm gonna give you a record deal. And he came to New York, but he didn't get, come in contact with me, he came in contact with Dame. So I gave him a record deal on, on site. Like, yeah, I'm gonna give you a record deal because it's Ski. Mm. Ski is a producer, he's a dope rapper. He's gonna figure it out, so. Did, did you uh, recognize in Dame uh, that equality? What I recognize in Dame is that he wasn't going to um, take no for an answer. You know what I mean? And he wasn't really trying to hear what you might have been thinking. That might have been a good reason for you to chill. But if it, if it wasn't equivalent to what he was thinking, it just didn't matter. And if you have somebody who's going to fight for you like that, it's really going to be hard to lose. And what made you decide to put Jay and, and Dame together or, or connect them? Um, I have a, a thing about me, like if we're friends, then friends should be able to do things together. And Dame was my friend and Jay was my friend. I had to first get Jay to say yes, he would rap. But then I was telling him, yo, this guy Dame, he manages Rivers Flavor. You might want to be him. He'd probably be a good manager. Yo, Dame. I got the best rapper in the whole goddamn universe. He's the best MC you'll ever hear. Oh, he ain't that good. Trust me, the best you'll ever hear. And I had to make him believe that Jay was the best, and then I had to make Jay believe that he's he'll be a good man. Uh, obviously, Jay had a uh, mastermind, insane mind of creative talent as an MC, and you have Dame, who's you know a relentless, you know mm -hmm. kind of entrepreneurial spirit, go getter type guy. Yeah. Did you? see did Jay have a manager at that time or was no. he kind of, not at I, all I basically was like both of their manager <laughs> mm. so you, you played GM kind of sort of yeah mm -hmm. and uh because like Dame didn't Dame and Darian didn't know the music business but they were connected to me who gave them their deal so they're gonna learn the music business on the fly okay through me you're gonna learn it you're going to feel every bump when you're going over it because I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I'm going to make sure that you know it so you know it, know it, know it. So when the fucked up shit is about to happen, you see it. Hmm. You know what I mean? So when you when they're not promoting your record a certain way, you were aware of why and how and now going forward on whatever the next situation you get, it's never going to happen again. Uh, when did you know that the, the two of them were going to click? Um, when they met. Or actually... Yeah, when they met, because you can say all that you want to say until you meet a person, it it, it don't mean nothing. Uh, where, where did they meet? Like, where At Mossy. So I had to take Damon to, to Brooklyn, which was another trial because he just believed that all Brooklyn people were robbers and, robbers and thieves. <laughs> like, I kid you not. Like, he never really believed that I was from Brooklyn. Because well, I spent so much time uptown. And I was super comfortable, and wow, people uptown knew me. So he just believed Clark's a liar. He's not from Brooklyn. He's not from Brooklyn. He's from uptown. He be uptown, and he's fresh. So he definitely is from uptown. That was his thing. He was like, "No, you, you too fresh to be from Brooklyn." And I was just like, "You sound dumb. Like you think Brooklyn guys don't get fresh? Like so." For a lot of people not uh, not from New York, yeah. uh, once I moved here, I realized the distinct difference between Brooklyn. And an uptown cat. Yeah, we're really fresh. It's <laughs> Brooklyn's really fresh in there. Yeah. I, well, you know what? You, I look at it. It's almost like having um, you have your alphas and you have your kappas. Both are fresh, but both are fresh differently. Like Harlem has a little bit more jiggy, and Brooklyn's a little bit more laid back. Do you agree with this? Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Well, so <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn to the death. Brooklyn to the death. I, I'm no saying, question. I'm saying, Brooklyn's very, very fresh. Mm -mm -mm. Brooklyn cats are fly. Brooklyn is the freshest. Freshest. See, here's the thing. 
when you think New York, you think historically black neighborhood is Harlem. So that's what you think is first. It's like you forget there's black people in Queens. There's black people in the Bronx. Right. There's black people in Staten Island. There's black people in Brooklyn. Or you think there's only fresh up there? Or why? Because that's where the Apollo is? That, that, that's where all of the so-called famous black shit that you've ever heard of is? Nah, there's black shit happening in all of these goddamn places, and we get fresher than you. Why we get fresher? Because we are from the blue-collar city in, in New York. It's the hardest-working people are from Brooklyn, so we're going to go harder. When in those times, you didn't hear about Harlem people coming to Brooklyn for a party. You didn't hear about Harlem people or Queens people coming to Brooklyn for a party or Manhattan, Staten Island. Nobody came to Brooklyn for a party. Brooklyn, you go Brooklyn's in the house in any other borough, you get a crowd that is like, yeah, fuck it, we're here. <laughs> there's, there's like no laughter to that. We went the hardest. 